who are given orders to do whatever. You know? So you you actually witnessed a person being killed last night? <sighs> yep. Yes, I did. I, I did. What was the experience like? It, 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 it is, I don't know. When I went home, I just started crying. Because that person is a quiet young lady. What's up, what's up? Bless it. Good morning, my viewers and all of my subscribers. Welcome back to JNN News Channel. And if you are new here, please turn on post notification bell while clicking the subscribe button. With no further ado, let's get into today's story. Murdered man mistaken as alleged child abductor was mentally ill. The man mistaken as the suspect abductor of two St. Thomas girls who was killed by residents in Landaway this morning is reported to have been suffering from a mentally ill. He is Levy Chambers who is of a southern address in Yalas in the parish. Chambers was employed to a car rental company in St. Andrew as a car dealer. The gleaner told the news was informed that Chambers who reportedly left home who reportedly left home for work and ended up in Landaway is it is reported that the man who reside says is not known to the area was seen in the community sometime before 8 a.m. An alarm was raised and the man was subsequently chased by anger resident and attack. Cops who responded to the scene reported that the man had a stab wound. The injured man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. Some of you as I'm a sub, people have sent them a mistaken they will take away the life of a mentally ill man. He's not really a madman. It's just that he's having difficulties functioning. More while him end up at this place and more while him end up at that place. There. So I'm just, I'm just kind of a little bit mentally. You know, we, you know them type of person, not the mad, mad, mad type of person who got eat out a rubbish bin and them little thing there. But it's very sad though. Honestly, I don't like that situation there. Yeah, I know we want to get the, the, the perpetrator to justice and them like a thing. But I don't think you guys should be going around and taking out persons who do not really know. Because when you see the man, when you don't question the man, uh, nothing, you just decide say, you not go take away the man's life. That's not right still. But leave your comment. Com but I leave the one up to the viewers them. So leave your thoughts and your comment in the comment section. Make you know what you think about this situation and if it was why I can't say justify because it's a wrong person. But leave your thoughts and your comment in the comment section. Panda when I really want to hear back on the feedback. MP condemns the killing of a man mistaken for a suspect in St. Thomas. MP of Parliament for Western St. Thomas, James Robinson, is speaking out against the killing of a man in Lenway this morning who was reportedly mistaken by a resident as a suspect, a suspect abductor of the two girls in the parish last week. Roberts say residents have a responsibility not to take the law into their own hands. From mistaken identity to whatever it is, it is a criminal act that has taken place. A man is now deceased. He is not known or not well known to the community. This is just one more crime that the police have to solve. He said, pushing back at a report that the man was killed in a chase of mistaken identity. I'm not sure that this has anything to do with mistaken identity. The community is very calm and is not reaching as if it has any blood on its hand. The launching and trying of the Lindaway community West St. Thomas is too early, though that a launching took place at this time is early, he said. 
Nevertheless, he warned residents against emerging in any act of violentism. Two wrong will not make a right. Let us do what we have to do. Always keep the law in front of us, he added. Head of the St. Thomas Police Superintendent Alison Byfield confirmed that the stabbing incident took place around 7.30 on Wednesday morning. Nothing that investigators are seeking to identify the victim. The police responded to reports of an injured man in London Way. The police proceed to the scene where they saw an injured man laying on the ground on his back in a blue jeans pants only, no shirt. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. She said, by feel, maintain that the motive of the f his killing is still unknown. Government eyes fresh SOE. A year after a landmark ruling by the Supreme, the Supreme Court that the months long detention of five men within without charge was unconstitutional. The government has visited aspect of emergency power act in hope of satisfying the requirements of the court with respect to state of public emergency SOE. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck on Wednesday opened the debate on the purpose admins to the act which is expect to bring it in line with the constitution. Clause two of the act has been amended to include a definition for a period of public disaster and would reflect a similar definition in the section of the chapter of fundamental rights and freedom. Chuck said the penalty provision in the act were also amended to include a new previous that will give relevant minister power change the penalties by order subject to affirmative resolution. Last September, the Supreme Court ruled that the detention orders for the men which under the SOE were issued by National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang were unlawful power breach. The court ruled that the use of the orders for the detention of the men for a criminal case without proper review breaches the doctrine of separation of power. Chuck, Chuck admitted that the amend, amendment should have been made in 2013 when the chapter was in touch but could not say why this was not done. I cannot explain the omission, however, since the court have recently pointed it out. We have taken these steps to comply, he told the House. Chang, meanwhile, argued that the current level of violence crimes consists a public emergency, noting that the regional average for murder stands at 17.2%, 100,000, and the world average at 6.1 per 10,000. The security minister said that at the end of 2017, the murder rate in St. James along was 186.5% per 100,000. At the end of the year, the minister said murder within the area for police division were 77% per 100,000. In Kingston Eastern, 197.3 per 100. In Kingston, 172.8. In Kingston Western, 77%. In St. Andrew, 78%. In St. Andrew Central, if these murder rates do not signal security emergency that warns an emergency security response, then, then what point do we accept that we are in emergency? He questioned. The minister argued the group that use of a CA, CEO, CEO SOEs. The security force have been able to utilize intelligence to dead criminals while building evidence to prosecute. 
Chang described as hotter rubbish criticism that the security force and the SOEs were arable to detain residents. According to the security minister, upon ending the SOE in August of last year, the police had detained 240 persons. He said that the amount was over 50 percent. Some of you as I'm a sub, what do you think about bringing back the SOE? Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment section. Bless up.